Welcome to Serials 2016 from South Cambridgeshire where it isn't raining yet but it could be any moment and for wheat growers rain often means septoria so I'm going to be talking to two experts on what we can do to monitor septoria and then control it. Right, we're on the AHDB stand. I've got Tim Bohr here, plant pathologist at ADAS, and we're looking at a crop of Santiago, which is quite susceptible to septoria. This is an untreated crop, so if we look into it, we're probably seeing lots of signs of septoria on the lower leaves. Uh, yeah, it's quite a lot of septoria, sort of leaf four and below in this untreated crop, but as, as we start moving up to leaf three, we're starting to see brown rust coming in. There's a lot of active pustules and with pustules still identifiable on the flag leaf. So for this area of South Head Cambridge, the, the rusts are beginning to be a bit more important than Septora at this moment. Yeah, but, but this is quite a uh, bad rust year. Okay. Um, so we've had mild weather uh, since well, over Christmas and it's this spring has not been terribly hot so it's been favouring yellow rust. Okay. And, and now as we get into June, uh, we're a bit warmer again and it's right. beginning to favour brown rust. Okay, so uh, although it's you know fairly wet, wet, we're going to have showers over the next few days. The septoria is there, but it, it's been held down in the bottom of the crop. So we're wor we're worried more about the rust. So anybody putting a T3 has got to be thinking about a rust type product. Uh, yeah, that, that's correct. So it, yeah, so if you're putting T3 on for uh, fusarium control, uh, typically azole based products will offer right. good control and will also uh, help control rust as well. Okay, great. Okay, I'm here with Keith Norman of Velcourt, and Velcourt are looking at an early warning system for septoria disease in wheat. So, what exactly are we looking at here? Well, one thing we've got to do is we've got to get septoria management better. Um, if you look at a typical range of fungicide spend for this disease control, it can range anything from £45 a hectare to about £134 a hectare in our experience. So what we need to do is that we have to get a bit cleverer at looking to see and assessing the risks of how much septoria is going to be developing um, from the point you make that decision of that spray mix going forward. And you're looking at spectrometers to give you this early warning for septoria, which of course is the uh, most yield sapping disease of wheat. Yeah. So what we're doing, we're doing two things. Uh, we're doing, uh, we're in year two of a three year drone project, uh, which is actually looking to see if we can identify this precise spectral signature of reflection that a plant will generate when it's becoming um, infected by septoria. Because we know that septoria causes subtle differences within the plant leaf structure, these kind of changes can be picked up remotely. So we're doing a lot of uh, trials in the east of England and southwest of England and flying these um, replicated field trials that have a whole range of treatments applied to them. We can then look with the spectrometer from the drones to see what's happening and to see if we can see the differences before we can see them with a the naked eye. And this can give the farmer a good idea of what he might put on his fungicide spray. Correct, because if, a, if the upper leaf canopy is actually clear of latent infection, you could go much more down a protective route than a curative route and therefore save money. And this could really save growers some money, it could perhaps trim five, ten pounds off a spray if, if, if there wasn't the infection there. Absolutely, and you know that range 45 to 134 pounds a hectare shows the, the amount that's, that's basically there to, 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 to go at.